morning. Welcome to day 12 on my keto war diet. I did normal keto, well I've done dirty keto, lazy keto, strict keto, clean keto, almost all kind of ketos that there is other than the vegetarian keto. And I have lost over 175 pounds in doing so. Um, this is my day 12, a ketovore, which is basically where you kind of mix keto and carnivore together. Um, yesterday I weighed in at 196.4 and today I weigh in at 196.8. So I did go up 4 ounces. I am not freaking out though. Yesterday I did not get much sleep. Um, I did... I ate the amount of calories, fat, and protein that my carb manager says I should. However, this whole entire adventure, I have been going way over. I've been doing 1,700 calories instead of 1,200. Um, it's up probably one day. Um, I've been doing like so much protein, over 150 or something, and fats over 100, and yesterday I came nowhere near any of those numbers. I also had one plain coffee and one collagen coffee when I normally would probably have had two collagen coffees and an MCT oil coffee. Um, so everything was a little off. I also had two or three ounces of cheese when I normally do one ounce of cheese. Um, so... I don't know if that factored into it, if it was the sleep, if it was because I lost so much the day before, or what it was. So I'm not freaking out yet, thinking I'm going back up. <laughs> so we will see tomorrow what the scale says. Um, I have had a lot of questions from different people. Some people actually leave the comment section. Some people have been IMing me privately, um, asking questions about what exactly do I eat because on a normal carnivore diet as far as I understand it you only eat meats most people do not eat any dairy so no cheeses no heavy whipping creams no sour creams n not even eggs um and they eat salt and pepper only um I do not do a normal one and on the ketovores that I've been seeing people do they have um, avocado and any kind of spice. Um, they add a few other items in. So, I'm going to tell you what I personally eat on a daily basis and how I'm doing it. I'm not saying this is right for you. I'm not saying this is the right way to do ketovore or carnivore or anything. I'm saying the way I do ketovore that's right for me because um, a lot of people get really mad and touchy if you're using a name to something and you do different ingredients than they're used to so this is for me what I use and it might work for you too I think it's better than the be um, beef and butter and egg and cheese fast which never works for me this gives you more option but it's doing the same thing almost it's eliminating all the vegetables, it's limiting all those kind of carbs that you get from nuts or anything else. So it's not that much of a difference, except you got more options. So for me, first thing in the morning, I make my about 16, 18 ounces of black coffee. I use Starbucks brand. And then I put this in there. I don't know if it's gonna show. It's preferred keto collagen powder. I have a chocolate one and a vanilla. Um, they are not cheap. This little bottle is 20 servings. So for me, it would be 10 days and it's about $40. Um, and that would be if I had it twice a day. I do these one to twice a day. Every day without fail. It makes me feel better. It makes me last way longer before I actually have to put real food in my stomach. It does not raise my sugar. It helps with my hair growth and my skin. Um, I swear my joints have felt so much better after this. Um, it has MCT oil powder in it. It has cocoa powder in it. Natural flavor with stevia leaf extract in it. Um, it has some sodium, magnesium, potassium, iron, protein. So it has 10 grams of protein per scoop. Um, it has less than a fiber, less than um, a carb. So basically no carbs. Um, and it has total fat is 4 grams and 78 calories. 
So this is my breakfast. I have it between six and eight every day, somewhere in between there. And then I get hungry around 12. So anywhere from 12 to 1.30 is when I eat my breakfast. So most of my breakfasts, which I will probably do today, has been um, four or five slices of bacon that go in the microwave. Um, it equals about two regular frying pan thick pieces of bacon because they're paper thin and when you add all this stuff up it equals the same. So that does have sodium nitrate, which I did not even think to look at. Um, but that's the only bad thing I'm digesting. Everything else is clean. So I usually do those with two eggs with a half a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and I just scramble it up on the stove and then sometimes a half an ounce of cheese. Okay, I've done those most mornings. Yesterday morning was the first morning and it's like 12, 1 30, somewhere around in there. Yesterday was the first time I did um, no bacon and I did four ounces of ground pork and I made my own sausage patties with lots and lots of pepper and salt. Um, I've eaten that ground pork the day before and lost weight just fine, but I still had bacon and I only had two ounces of it. Yesterday I had about eight ounces total probably of that pork because I cooked it with dinner too and that could be an issue too so we'll have to see. But so I usually have and I so it's either the ground pork with some salt and pepper for breakfast with my eggs and then I don't do the cheese with it or I do the microwave bacon with two eggs salt and pepper with half an ounce of cheese. Okay, so that has been my breakfast all week. Then I go, which is to me lunch. I really, my coffee is my breakfast to me. Um, then usually I have a coffee with it. That's usually the MCT old one or a plain one, which just has like a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Then I go to dinner and that's my main meal. I've been doing about six ounces of New York strip with about an ounce of cheese or two chicken thighs with the one ounce of cheese or half ounce of cheese. Um, what else? I've done some pork. Um, that was about six ounces of the pork loin one night with a cheese sauce. I wasn't crazy about it. I've done hamburger one night. Um, so it's just one of the pre patty hamburgers from Costco. I think it equals about seven ounces of ground beef. And I put a slice of Munster cheese on it. And then tons of salt and pepper and one to two tablespoons of um, sour cream. Because I am not doing mustards, ketchup, mayonnaise, any of that. But I have a sour cream that basically just culture heavy whipping cream type deal um it doesn't have anything really added to it it's just one ingredient so i've been doing that as well um trying to think i i did fish one night cod i didn't really like it though um it was frozen cod i wanted to try try something seeing if i like frozen meat or not it was okay it was edible i did eat it um because the main goal of this Two is also to simplify everything and to lower cost. It doesn't cost that much doing this diet at all. It's way cheaper than normal keto diet, at least for me. Um, what else? So basically, I'm eating the same amount of meats and eggs and cream and butter, because I use my Kerrygold butter as well, as I did on keto. Um, the only thing is different is I'm not eating a cucumber with my dinner or some lettuce or a bell pepper and mushrooms um, or the broccoli and cheese or a quarter cup of loaded cauliflower. So, cause those are the only things I ate before. And the other difference is the snacks. I did do keto snacks like the candies and, and some of the keto pancakes that I love and syrup. So I took all that stuff out. But, so to make it a little more simple, <clears throat> all I eat is either fish, pork loin, hamburger meat, New York strip, but you can have any kind of steak. So you can have any kind of beef, 
any kind of poultry because I eat the chicken, any kind of pork, um, except I will I'll, I'll explain the exception to mine at least. Um, and then I eat as natural cheese as I can, so I'm not even eating shredded cheese right now. There's too many ingredients added to it. Um, heavy whipping cream and Kerrygold butter. My coffee and my collagen powder and my MCT oil. So that is it. Shopping is super fast and easy. Cooking is super fast and easy. You don't have to think of nothing. Those are your ingredients. <laughs> it's really simple. Um, so I do not do dirty at all. So my sausage is ground pork with me adding tons of salt and pepper and a lot of pepper to give it the sausage taste. Um, it does taste a little different because there is no sage and sage plays a major part in making sausage. Um, also, I don't do any hot dogs, <clears throat> no deli meats, no processed food. Basically, you go to the wrong to meat, meat department. Make sure nothing's added. I won't even get it if it has a sodium base added to it or anything. Um, so raw, plain, fresh meat. I do no antibiotics, no hormones because of my allergies. Um, I try to do grass fed, but that's really hard and expensive and so I don't usually get grass fed too much. So raw, plain meats, any kind. You can do bison, you can do lamb, you can do whatever you like to eat. I mean, turkey, as long as raw plain meats with nothing added. Good fresh eggs, a pure heavy whipping cream that doesn't have a lot of crap added to it. Um, I use Landolates and when I'm elsewhere that don't carry Landolates, I get the Walmart brand if I'm at Walmart. Um, then you can get a plain sour cream if you want the sour cream. I get Harvest and Gouda cheeses a lot and Munster cheese a lot. I did get a block of Kobe Jack um, that only basically has three ingredients. I have eaten a few pork rinds that was just pork rind and salt. Not a lot though, it only happened like once. Um, and that's it, salt, pepper, carry gold butter. It's easy. Nothing to think about. Other people do add the avocados and do add other things. Um, I'm deadly allergic to avocados, so that would never be allowed in my diet anyways. Um, but this is Ketobor for me. Salt, pepper, cheeses, heavy whipping cream, eggs. Any kind, a fresh, no chemical, no added sodium, no added nothing meats because I don't know what kind of sodium they're sticking in it. I don't know if they added something else, especially when it says spices. Um, so that's my take, my version. Everyone has something different. Some people are just doing this 10 days and then slowly adding foods back to see what gives them a reaction, what causes them stalls. Um, I won't be doing that right this second. Um, if my weight continues to go up, like it went up these four ounces, then I might start switching things up again because maybe my body's gotten used to it and I do have an issue with my body getting used to things. But we will see. I'm going to cut the sausage out today that I made. Basically is, you know, ground pork with salt and pepper. Um, I'm going to go back to the microwave bacon, back to my eggs and my cheese. I'm only going to do one ounce of cheese today. I'm probably doing steak tonight. So we can see, because I know when I eat those things, and I'm going back to my two coffees, my, so maybe I'm just lacking, and maybe I'm getting too hungry, because I had only 1,200 calories yesterday, and most of the days I've been getting close to 2,000. So, and that is one thing, um, they tell you when you do carnivore diets, and a ketovore is you eat until you're full, there's no tracking, as long as you're just eating the things on that list and you're not eating lots of cheese and heavy whipping cream, um, then you don't really have to track. Because if you stay under the one or two ounces of the cheese like I'm doing and I only eat a few tablespoons of the heavy whipping cream a day and my little keto powder twice a day, it brings me the four carbs, um, six when counting my eggs. 
um, and that's where I want to be at six or under and I want nothing to come from plants other than my collagen powder um, so that's how I'm doing it personally you can do it other ways you could try it for a few days and then slowly start adding stuff back in if you add in broccoli and you feel sick or it makes you go to the bathroom like you have to run or your stomach feels so bloated then you know you shouldn't be eating it food shouldn't make you feel sick period people might say but everyone feels that way after eating black broccoli well then don't eat it it should not make you feel sick you should feel perfectly fine after you eat food um, and I never did until now. So, yeah. Um, I think plants can be the enemy sometimes. <laughs> That'll probably get me a lot of hate, but I don't care. Um, I know for sure I cannot have cauliflower. I know for sure I cannot have spinach or leafy green vegetables at all. Um, they will stall me out. They make me extremely nauseous, heartburn. Like, I am so sick when I eat those things. So the only things I would be wanting to try to put back in would be um, my bell peppers, my mushrooms, my cucumbers, my celery, um, little bits of carrots because I did put little bits of carrots in my food, um, and cabbage. But I have a bad feeling cabbage is my enemy. But we will see that later in the future because I am not trying it right now. If my weight continues to go down, I will continue down this path for a while because I feel so good. Sorry, my camera turned off. But this diet makes me feel amazing. It's cheap on the budget. Um, and I don't have to think. And it's, I used to stress like what I wanna cook because I love cooking and I wanted to be creative every time. But now I don't have to. And I thought I wasn't gonna leak that, but I actually do. Last night I did make a little meatloaf thingy that was a little creative, because <laughs> you can only do so much. I do mess my pepperoni and salami, but I can live without it right now. Um, I hope this wasn't too confusing. Um, so basically, fresh, raw, nothing out of meats. Good cheeses, good heavy whipping cream, maybe a good sour cream my coffee, my collagen powder, my Kerrygold butter, and eggs. That is what I consume on this diet. Um, oh, and salt and pepper, of course. Um, and it's Himalayan salt that I use. But that's it. Um, no thinking. You literally can run in and out of the grocery store in probably five minutes. It's like bam, bam, bam. You miss the whole entire store. <laughs> it's so easy. And then cooking, just grab and salt and pepper. Oh, and I do use some olive oil sometimes too. So those are, that's what I do. Um, these are not rules that someone else has made because everyone seems to have different rules. This is my rules that I have made that works for myself. Um, but yeah, I lost a lot of weight and I love keto no matter what version I'm on. I really miss dirty keto, I have to be honest. I loved getting the flour, little flour tortillas and making me sandwich wraps and pizzas out of them and all the little snacks and I do miss it. But for now, um, I have to say goodbye to those things because I really want to get down to my goal weight and I want to feel healthy. And it really does save a lot of money not buying all those crazy things because let me tell you, when people come up with stuff that's low carbon for keto, it's crazy expensive. Some of the ketchups are $7 a bottle. And I don't do maldextrin, period, or dextrin or any of those other ones, so I can't just go buy Heinz or something low sugars um, because they have all that crap in it. And it's defeating the point because it's all sugar. So, yeah. But, that is the end for right now. Um, let's see. It's almost 11, and I am not hungry at all. So, I'm going to go make me a plain coffee. And then, make breakfast whenever I get hungry. Probably between 12 and 1. I just listen to my body, and that's when I eat. Um, so yeah <laughs> but i hope everyone is having a great day and as again this is my day 12 which i keep having to look at my list because for some reason i think it's day 11 
totally stuck in my head. I had to refilm this over and over again because I kept starting with day 11. But that is the blonde in me. But yeah, I will get back on here probably around dinner time. I've been cooking dinner off cam because my fan made such a loud noise. Um, but we'll see. I think I'm having steaks. May do it outside today. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, this is just going to be a quick ending. Um, I did end up having a another collagen powder so that was two of them today coffees um i had that one i think about 12 and i ended up not eating until almost two today i had the five pieces of bacon and the two scrambled eggs with one half ounce of harvest cheese this time um i had some chicken broth a little bit ago um i warmed up in the microwave I am very nauseous right now. I do not think that's from this diet at all. I need eight hours of sleep to function and not feel tired or nauseous or anything. And unfortunately, I did not get nowhere near that last night. So I'm pretty miserable and cranky today. So I drank that to help with my sodium and also help with the nausea. It always works for me and it did work. And I will be eating, I cooked on my little indoor grill, a New York strip. Of course, not this whole thing. This is like a pound. I even lost 368 pounds. Never could have ate this much food in one sitting. So I'll probably do about five or six ounces, give or take, and two tablespoons of sour cream today. I'm not going to do any cheese tonight. Um, I was wrong about how much I gained today. Um, well, this morning when I woke up, because I was off by two ounces yesterday, I was actually 196.6 yesterday. I had to look again on my little electronic scale. Um, I don't know why my head put four ounces. So today, technically, I went up two ounces, not four. So we will see what happens tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking it's because of the sleep but i don't know i'm crossing my fingers i want it to go down and i will probably be passing out around eight o'clock tonight because i'm that kind of tired so i am going to go ahead and say good night it is my sunday night this should be up tomorrow morning which will be monday so i hope everyone has a wonderful monday morning um kids have two more days of school here and then i can start sleeping in until seven or eight hopefully and not waking up around five and six but um yeah so i'm gonna put this together and have it up tomorrow morning and get me some sleep and eat some of that steak and i hope everyone has a good night if you're watching it at night and a good day if you're watching it in the morning <laughs> bye